Hello, I'm Dr. Kiara Chong. I'm a gynecologist and a fertility doctor. Couples trying to get pregnant are usually very anxious about their fertility. In this video, I'll be discussing common reasons why they can't conceive and what we can do about it. Welcome back. Difficulty getting pregnant is a common problem in Malaysia. About 15% or 1 in 8 couples unfortunately can't seem to get pregnant even after 1 year of trying. According to medical statistics, 40% of the cause is related to the female side, while 30% of the cause comes from the partner. And about 20% of the time, both husband and wife also have problems. The remaining 10% is something we classify as an unknown cause. On the female side, we can divide the problems into structural or functional problems. For the IT generation, we can call this as the hardware or software problems. For the structural problems in ladies, these include the reproductive organs, such as the womb or the uterus, fallopian tubes and ovaries. Now, for example, a large fibroid or damaged fallopian tube or abnormal cysts in the ovaries. So just like the computer, when we have hardware problems, example if the hard disk is spoiled and need to be replaced, in humans, some structural problems will also need surgery to repair the condition. Functional problems include irregular cycles which may be caused by hormonal imbalance or medical conditions such as thyroid disease, lifestyle causes or sometimes lower egg quality. The hormones in the body are like a software controlling the menstrual cycle and may go haywire, thus leading to irregular timing of ovulation and menses. Alright, over to the guys. A common hardware problem is blocked vas deferens, which is the male equivalent of the fallopian tube in females. Poor sperm quality is also seen among smokers, guys with medical conditions like diabetes, and also those with sedentary or inactive lifestyle. The next common question asked is how can we improve the quality of eggs and sperms without requiring surgery or medication? Three things. Number one, live a healthy lifestyle. What do I mean by that? If you smoke, use recreational drugs, or take excessive alcohol, please cut down or stop completely. These are bad for fertility and also bad for your health in the long run. Number two, eat a well-balanced diet with a good proportion of vegetables and fruits as these contain natural sources of vitamins and minerals. Try to cut down processed food or junk food, which mainly contain a lot of sugar, artificial chemicals, and very little nutrition for your body. Number three, avoid a sedentary lifestyle. Don't let modern conveniences make you lazy. Take the stairs instead of the elevator. Go for walks around your housing area. Do a 5-minute yoga routine in the morning before you have breakfast. A recent study showed that men who watch more than 20 hours of television a week have lower sperm counts compared to men with more active lifestyle. Another question commonly asked is, will stress cause fertility problems? And the answer is definitely yes. Stress from work, stress from traffic jams, stress from working at home, stress from nosy aunties, and stress from looking at friends, posting baby photos on Instagram and Facebook. All of these little stresses will accumulate over time and cause problems. Stress will help reduce sleeping time. It may cause arguments between husband and wife, and it can also cause the ovaries to skip ovulation, resulting in irregular cycles. So what can you do? First, talk to your partner. Tell them how much the stress is affecting your life. Or share your problems with a close friend or family member. Try to identify each stressor and see how you can reduce the stress by adjusting your mindset, try some relaxational techniques, start a hobby like gardening, or even pick up a new musical instrument. Try something that both you and your partner can do together. Take a break or vacation once in a while, alright? Now, that's all the time we have for this video. I'll be preparing more fertility-related videos in the future. Take care and good luck trying to start your family.